Hey guys, Stealth here. Time to take that East for a motorized deck to the test. I'm here on this very, very large map where we're only doing a 2v2. Now I got a ton of high-end infantry, so it should be okay, but it's not exactly an ideal map for a motorized situation, or at least I prefer to have more maps like uh, another D-Day in Paradise, or straight to the point where you have a lot more cover for your infantry. Now my teammate is someone who has played over 400 games but only got a um, win rate of 20% so I'm a bit hesitant to rely on him too much. And we're doing a conquest game so we're going to be pretty much trying to get as many zones as we can so I want to push out my CVs as quickly as possible. And with that I want to capture this terrain quickly. This area first. I don't really care about this terrain just yet. Maybe later. So we're going to go in with some Motorschützen. Um, we're also going to take some Granetta Mets. A couple of teams there to make sure I can suppress other infantry. I want a couple of Groms in there in single groups. And then some Special Nijetnotki to make sure I get eyes on the situation. So that leaves me with 60 points. Um, I don't exactly have a lot of AT capability, although the motor shoots and got some short range missiles. I know I'm not going to use these guys just yet, my special forces, but I will be using those later. I can bring in one concourse. I don't think it's going to be that effective though, so let's go with one or two Storm Pioneer. Storm Pioneer. Um, I'll take the town and he's going to take this area. Let's coordinate a little bit. So about there. Now this area has a lot of bridges. You've probably played the map already. Um, I'm going to try and get some motor shoots in, in these buildings to make sure that I can block off this bridge and somewhat of this area. I don't have enough infantry as is. I know it's a lot of units, uh, but it's not exactly everything that I need. So I'm going to have to save up later. He's going to try and set infantry in Anna. Okay, sounds like a plan. Let's see, my AA is pretty bad at this point, so if they do a helo push, I'm pretty much screwed. Actually, let's see. Um, some of these guys I'm going to replace. The Granata Mets. I'm going to cancel one group of two, and then get one Strop in there. It's a little better than having those Granata Mets. So, first my major push, then the CV is going to go into this town where it has some cover near these bushes. I can delete the markers now, save those for something else. I'm going to get an early head start. And Blue 4 apparently thought the same thing. I'm not sure how they got that CV that quickly. Maybe he moved his around. So now we're in a plus 2. Let's get the CV somewhere sitting back there. Completely unexpected, of course. Who would expect a CV back there? This is one of the major areas where people always park their CVs. And with good reason, because it's hard to put them anywhere else. I'm going to try to push one jet knot key across the bridge. And, yeah, here we go. Offload everything. It's not ideal, but I prefer to keep them alive. Roms are engaging. So I managed to spook them. But now I'm going to try and get my infantry into position as soon as possible. So that was their push. These Groms are scoring a lot of helicopter kills. Great job there. And we're in the plus three. The income is extreme in this game. So let's deploy some more motor shoots to make sure... Oh shit. That's not exactly what I was hoping for. 
They did manage to land their forces. So I'm trying to put the Granata Mats to work. Suppressing all of these guys. Special needs are going to go in there. And I'm going to need to get some air support in here. Soonest. I'm not sure what my ally is doing, but I'm supposing... My ally's not doing anything. Brilliant. That's gonna hurt. Those grenade mats really chewed through the commando infantry, or the commando marines. Come on, Sturm Pioneers, move up. Special Janotkis, Grom's in there. Second group of Groms in there. I want my thermobaric bomber ready to go. And these guys are almost down, so we're going to relocate them. Those VABs are annoying. Sorry, buddy, that's not where I am anymore. I need a couple of tanks in here. That should take care of those... Uh, legionnaires. Storm pioneers will take down the commander marines. Even if it's the last thing they do. And unfortunately, that's pretty literal this time. So I say I need help and my ally comes in with two Support units. Those are the kind of allies that you want again. People you can depend upon. We're still leading the plus two. That's because they had not captured Dimitri yet, which is a bit weird. I thought they would do that a little faster. Getting too close to Marganetomats. Trying to push up with the rest of my infantry in here. And, yeah, that group, of course, didn't make it across. I cannot engage this Grotal just yet with my airplanes. Um, seed run could be useful, but not against the Grotals, unfortunately. Get out. Oh, wow, the Legionnaires survived. That's unexpected. Okay, more Storm Pioneers. Or Storm Pioneers. That's probably sounded more French than German. Okay, never mind then. I've had it with those planes. And this is something that I do not want to get over my lines. There's their AA. That's a Mistral Reconnaissance Unit. Granatos, hold here. some more Groms in here, because they might be pushing around with their units. Salamandra up here. So for now, this part of the town is mine. Jeez, they're still here. These guys sure are resistant. My ally is just not doing anything here. What the fuck is this? I mean, seriously, you're not helping anyone with that. Need an air superiority fighter. Oh shit. Start running. Pirates, that's either Legionnaires or Commander Marine. Whichever it is, it's not good. And there's some CH 53s, that's probably. Bad news. 
Um, I doubt you're going to be deploying a lot of reconnaissance infantry that way, so the only other thing that it could be is Fallschirmjägers. Logistic trucks. Destroy those. We're going to set up a night ex explosion there. If you can hit them, that is. New end position. I'm going to get another one of those. Because they do a lot of airstrikes here. Too many for my taste. Yep, full Jaegers. Granada Mets, I got a job for you here. Commander Marines. I really got a lot of stuff in here trying to bring in the napalm. Flam Panzers. This is too close a range for my grenade launchers. Burn them. Uh, one of those. They should take care of some of these guys. Bringing in more transports. That's more infantry in here. Granata met here. Finally, these Vizetkaris from my ally are doing something useful. Second Niwa got into position. That's very, very good news for me. And they got a command vehicle in here. Guess where that's going to be? The salamander, I want to leave that there. Can you push into Anna? I think their command unit is about there. That's usually where you can find it. Commando Marines. He does use a lot of those guys. What's that? Pirates. We don't accept pirates here. My napalm tanks have arrived. Don't start pushing on these guys. Bringing in a bit more infantry in here. And my new Grenetta Mets have arrived. More full Jaegers. Okay. More full Jaegers. I'm just going to torch that entire place. And the fact that they're leading by a plus one is something that I really don't like. Come on, guys. Time to barbecue some German infantry here. Second position. Spreading a couple of these guys around. This guy's taking no fire whatsoever. Which is a bit weird. Oh look. There's the Falschermjäger running away. Out of range, are you? Ooh, not entirely out of range though. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is how you abuse napalm units. <laughs> I'm 
burn something to death. Problem is, we're getting a little bit too close to this forest. But surprisingly, they're not responding with any kind of units yet. I had expected to get airstrikes or something already, but nothing yet. Can we get the Colossus back here? A lot of stuff down there. I believe that the Legionnaires were in that building. Okay, we're going to push up. This is my new terrain. Commander Marines, back it up, back it up, back it up. Possibly command infantry in that building, let's see. Time to get some of that kick-ass reconnaissance infantry in here, the Formosas. You really want someone dead? You bring in Formosas. Crotal did not get a good shot on my plane. Yep. As expected. Fulsham Jaeger, my tank is way too close. It's probably going to cost me my tank. Grenatomets almost insta killed these guys. Let's see, more flam panzers, please. And also get some AA in here. A couple of strops, reconnaissance infantry. Here comes a mirage. Hoping that the newest can take that down. Hit, miss, kill. Not sure who got it, but it works for me. Chopper's a bit out of position here. These guys might be able to suppress them a little bit. Shit. Didn't shoot him. Tiger Hap coming in. Should be getting shot down by the drum soon. That's a lot of chasseurs. A lot of chasseurs. Um, didn't relocate these flam panzers. This is actually a good push. I had not really kept this zone too safe. This should wipe out a lot of them. Come on, Grom. Get out of there. And with that, I don't really need them out here. Pushing up, pushing up. Getting these guys ready. My Formosas have arrived. Right there. The Formosas are some of the exceptional infantry. And with that, I mean that those are some of the units that I would justify using in groups of two. It's not something I usually do with reconnaissance infantry. But in a situation like this, it is actually useful. Because with those, you can do a lot more damage than you normally could. Wait up a little bit. Strop 2s are coming in. Time to push up with the Niwas. Although not too far. And we're just going to torch this area first. Get back here. I don't want you to push just yet. Especially not into f 60 Commando Marines. And they still got some infantry coming up here. Probably a vehicle. So this should torch those commander marines right out. They somehow decided to abandon that position. Yeah guys, this is over. Commander marines having a really bad day. Unfortunately, I torched this area so effectively that now I can't use it. These guys are not amphibious. Let's get a command vehicle in here. 
quickly. Some vehicles. Um, I could use some Prem S's here. One of those reconnaissance vehicles here. And my Yates out of fuel. Let's get him back up. And these guys can replenish everything that's in here. Let's get some remote shoots in here. Solidly lock down this town. Scots are amphibious. Pretty fast, so it doesn't really matter for them if they use the bridge or not. I'm going to use that. Let's see, commandosis might be useful. Um, because they do have a lot of anti-infantry capability here. What's that? Rafal. Not my problem. I'm gonna push the contact. Push up as far as I can. Get some remote shoots in here. Come on, shoot down the Quartal. Didn't get it. Go there. Flampanzer, go here. Uh, recon infantry, I don't really need to offload them just yet. There's their fob. It would be nice to take that down. Not 100% needed, but nice if I could do it. <laughs> yeah, you better start running. Chasseurs. Here come the napalm tanks. Let's offload these guys, see what's out there. What's that? That's not a command vehicle. Strops, we got airborne. Come on. Alouettes. So the one target that a piece Ryan picks is my 15 point vehicle. Works for me. Now this is something that is slightly more worrying. Let's get my AT helicopters in here. Though I called those in way too late. Get back here. I don't think that those things are going to stand up to AMX 30Bs. 7 armor, 6 armor, 9 epi power. Their accuracy is 20 and theirs is 40. That's not very good. Okay, let's just do something else. Put up a firewall so that it can no longer fire at me. It's going to panic them, giving me the availability to shoot them down. Nice, it worked. Commando infantry. Hunt that down. Helicopter should be flying in now, along with some of my other infantry. Yep, there it is. Did they kill it? I think so. Now my last CV. I'm gonna park that second CV there and then push up with my other CV. Tiger hat's coming in. Strop. You got a target. Shut it down. Well done. Well done. I'm gonna get these guys refueled. Mirage. Flak Panzers. So much for the Mirage. But it did drop the bombs. It did drop. Unfortunately for them, I'm right next to a fob. What? That thing must be right on the edge. That was probably an alouette that I shot down there. Supply lines are way too long here. They can bring in more stuff faster. We're still leading by plus two. Should be able to do this. That's one tank down. That's the second one. Go hunt. 
I'm gonna get that last CV here. Number 2A1. Again, not really my problem. Gotta say that these things really performed very, very nicely. Yep, commando infantry. Rocket pods. Strop, almost in range. Get the hell out of here. There you go. Next up, Dimitri. Moose surrenders. And we're taking AA fire. Get out. give anything that's in that forest a worry. From Moses, drop. It's nice that these Celtics keep coming in, but they keep getting shot down. Getting some tanks ready to push across that bridge. Actually, it's better to wait for a little bit and then come after them with the vehicles coming in from there. Command vehicle. Let's do an airstrike on that. Um, the question is with what? First we're going to do a seed run. Damn, they shot down my salamandra. Seed came in, took down a flak panzer. Roland's still out there, unfortunately. Time to get another seed in there. First, go after that Roland. Turn around. Turn fire. Roland's down. Next, fire at will. Okay, now I can bring in my other vehicles. And I'm thinking that they're going to be over there. So let's push that way. C did find a target. Flak Panzer, taken down. Let's do an air patrol here, shoot down that helicopter. Let's get these OTs moving. Flam Panzers. These Flam Panzers really perform very, very well. Very happy with their performance. And we're now getting a plus eight, so this thing's gonna be over. Peace Rhines. KWSs. I do not want to dance with those guys, they're too dangerous, especially if they're also gonna push in Rift Falls. That's the game. Pretty quick, really. Uh, let's see, I scored. 3,300 points and lost 925. My ally did okay, scored 2,000 kills, lost 1,870. But um, I was really, really happy with the performance of this deck. I'm going to go back and visit it in the deck editor, but I don't think I need to change anything. This is an incredibly effective deck if you use it the right way. But then again, that's also the case with most decks. Um, I did not really need the Commandosis in the LS Terra 40s. This initial push, although it dealt with some helicopters, made it out on top, so they actually survived. I don't need to adjust the motor shoots, and they did nicely. Having the Sturm Pioneer in there is very, very helpful. Conquerors I didn't use. Conetta Mets were good. Grumps were good. Support, RM70 I didn't use didn't use. And used the Niwas, who shot down at least one plane that I saw of. Strops did okay. Prems I didn't use. Tanks. I think I used either of these. I always get them confused. But they shot down some vehicles. Reconnaissance. Formosas did a great job. Although I didn't really use them in an anti-infantry capacity, I did go after some infantry, like the command infantry. Camp Schwimmer didn't use, Special Jet Notki, I used some of those to clear out that town. 
vehicle wise these things are my new favorite flame <laughs> flame tanks I mean they were extremely effective and NATO did not really have anything that they could do against it the OT 810D's performed nicely for 15 point units uh, they took down quite a bit of targets which were more expensive than themselves and some of them even absorbed some ATGM fire so that my tanks could live helicopters didn't really use that many of them um, I called in some of these to deal with some of the tanks that they brought in they worked perfectly these MiG-29 912A's did a good job against the infantry these took down a couple of AA's took down some vehicles with this one yeah, I'm very, very happy with the deck as is. I'm not going to change anything. So I hope you liked watching this gameplay. If you did, please hit like. And if you want to use the deck, the deck code's in the description down below. Um, if you want to have me do a video of your deck, please send it to me. The link on how you can send it in is in the description below. I'm always looking for more decks. I do have quite a few of them already. But of course, there's always more. And there's always uh, different kind of setups you can think of. Different mission profiles. So if you have a good deck that you'd like me to have a look at, just send it in and I'll be happy to make a video about it. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next video.